Hey guys, Chris from Badlands, and today we're looking at getting you started in paintball for under $300. So this is gonna be aimed at beginners. We're actually gonna bring one of our guys in who is a beginner. All right, this is Chris from our media department, and we're gonna walk him through getting set up for the first time so he can go out and play paintball. I actually wanna see if I uh, I could do this myself. Let's, sure. Let's see, if, let's see if I got this. <laughs> I've learned a lot in the last month, so. Uh... So the first thing you might ask is, Chris, what do I need to start paintball? Well, the first thing you're going to need, number one rule, is to always wear a mask. And this is the best mask for the best price. This is an Empire Helix mask and it goes for about $45.99. Great starter mask because it has the dual pane, so it's extra protection. It has a great field of view for those of you guys who are starting out. And it is relatively comfortable. The prices go up as the functionality, the durability, and the field of view gets more you, you just get more features so apparently i did pretty good but i want chris to be here to make sure that we get everything covered yeah he covered pretty much all the bases i mean you have you have your great ventilation you have a dual pane lens which is your best bet against fog you have your brim here that's going to keep sunlight out there even rain if you end up playing in the rain uh you have your awesome foam in here it's not uh, the toughest foam is actually quite comfortable, but the fact is it's the most affordable mask and this is going to get you on the field because the mask is very important. You want to go out there and throw paintballs at someone, they'll probably let you, but you're going to have to wear a mask. The, the thing that you guys all want to talk about is the paintball marker, aka the paintball gun. And we're going to put an overlay so you can see what it looks like up close. <laughs> close up pan. <laughs> this is a mechanical marker and it is called a Tipman Cronus. Yeah. So it shares... <laughs> I looked at MCOM like, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. It's just cool. That's yeah. all I think. It shares a lot of similarities with the 98, which is pretty much the rental gun around the world. It's like the AK of paintball guns. Oh, cool. Uh, this guy's cool because it has no external line. They did the line through the grip. You have an A5 threaded barrel, so you have plenty of opportunity to upgrade your barrel or change your barrel yeah. down the road. Uh, you got a nice cool front grip. You have lots of rails on there. You yes. want to put flashlights or lasers oh. or stuff like that. You have lots of rails to do so. Now this is probably the most affordable gun with the best reliability. And that's why we chose this as your starter gun. For the next item we picked, we'll go with the, the tank. So many of you out there I'm sure know that there's both CO2 and HPA. The CO2 is sort of the VCR of propellants now. Say. Yeah, it's like, it's old, it costs a lot of money, mm. and not a lot of people are carrying it. So okay. it's time to get yourself an HPA tank. When you go to the field, let's say you have to fill this guy, generally when you pay your admission, you get to fill this for free. So mm. whether it's filled 10 times, 50 times, doesn't matter, you get to fill it however many times you want. So you're saving money if you get an HPA tank over time. Yeah. Where would you be able to uh, fill a CO2 tank? I'm guessing you couldn't, you'd have to buy it over and over. If the field has CO2, they can fill it for you, but it's going to come at a cost. And I've heard as high as $10 per fill at some places. So if the CO2 tank is 30 bucks and you fill it three times, that's $60. You're pretty much buying yourself an HPA tank and you don't have to pay for your fills down the road okay. when you pay your admission. Cool. Yeah. Now the next thing that you need, as you can see here with this paintball gun, there is a feed neck on top. The feed neck feeds the paintballs from the hopper, which goes here, to the gun, which travels out that way when you shoot. So this hopper itself is a, Chris will explain that to you. <laughs> this is a gravity fed hopper. Yeah. This is your standard 200 round loader. Uh, this one is the JT format. There's a bunch that are basically the same shell, whether it's Empire, JT, or Gen X. I do know that Empire is coming out with some with, it's called a splitter. They have a little guard inside to keep the balls from popcorning when you're running down the field. That way your balls stay put in your breech and you won't chop or break paint. So these guys are very affordable. They're $14.99. That's really all you need for this gun because you're not shooting full auto. So yeah. this will keep up with, you know, three to four trigger pulls like you're going to get per second with your gun. So all this totaled is under $300 after tax. That is not bad. So that's a great price to get you started in paintball. So we've got the mask, we've got the marker, the tank, and the hopper. And that's essentially all you need. Chris, 
number two knows his stuff really yeah. well. <laughs> Mega Chris. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that. We wanted to make sure that you had the best of the best when starting out in paintball. Um, I know I want to have that when I start out. If you want to pick up these awesome items, you can definitely visit BadlandsPaintball.com or visit us at one of our Canadian locations. Yep. And make sure you follow us on social media so that we can keep you up to date on new products. This is Chris. And this is Mega Chris. And we'll see you on the field.